you know, it must be a different experience now after spending that time kind of in a family unit. Now we're all separated and doing all these things separately, but this is a good movie to bring us all together. Yes. How did you guys cultivate that, that relationship with each other? Because it was just so loving and so genuine and so moving. Well, I was telling Seth in the uh, other interview that we had, I think it was cool that Jay Carris, the uh, director, he had dinner with everybody. He, you know, uh, that treated, well, Netflix treated us to dinner. We love free food. And we all just got a chance to talk and talk to the parents and talk to the kid, other kids that were in the movie. And uh, we just got a chance to just kind of let the dust settle from traveling and all this stuff and mm -hmm. um, get to know each other better. And then we just hit it, we went straight to work. Seth, how do you want to answer? It was a really like a natural, very genuine relationship. It didn't. It wasn't forced at all. Like the connection was built there. The personalities were just great together and stuff. But it was just really fun to just film this whole project. The whole project, in addition to Tashina, who is a huge star, you got to work with some huge stars in the wrestling industry as well. Literally. Some, 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 I can't even imagine what it was like standing next to those guys, just shooting some of those fun scenes. Seth, were there any parts of that that was uh, challenging for you to, from the, the in-ring stuff to the just standing next to each other? What were some of the, the best and worst part, the best parts of that? Um, well, like first when I first started, like to train and stuff to do the flips and all that stuff, like it was like first, like kind of hard because I, I just wasn't conditioning at all before I came to this. Mm -hmm. So I had to start conditioning, start training, working out and stuff. But after that, it was just sort of forward from there, just started doing the flips, the wrestle, the moves and stuff, started remembering the, what we're supposed to do in my head. Mm -hmm. and stuff because I got to remember what move to make because I don't want to make a wrong move and then I get clothesline for real I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, yeah but um it, yeah it was just it was great so yeah I liked it so I put in a lot of work he put in a lot of work on this film you know a lot of people you know it's I always tell people you always see the end results but it's what t what it takes to to get that result and you know, like he said, he had a rehearsals and working out. I'm like, oh man, I mean, just watching him and the kids, I was tired from watching them, <laughs> I just, you know, but it's, 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 uh, it's important that we, we work together. And this film brought a lot of really cool people together. If it weren't for the WWE and Netflix, you know, making a marriage together to do this film, we never, you know, we never would see each other or be able to encounter each other but we did it in vancouver beautiful city one of my favorite cities mm -hmm. it was just a, a really refreshing experience mm -hmm. tashina you put in a lot of work too i mean <laughs> hey being an influencer that's a lot of work and and grandma had to navigate all these relationships and keep all these people together first of all you're definitely not looking old enough to be anybody's grandma by yeah. any means first of all I'm the new age grandma. You know, you the fly grandma, <laughs> the glamma. Glamma. <laughs> but what, what I really liked about seeing you in this role is I feel like you're so underrated as an actress. You have so much emotional depth and how you portray your characters, loving, enough funny, enough seriousness when it's appropriate. What do you think, how will you expect your fans to react seeing you in this type of role? Because you just fit into all those different emotions so so beautifully well i'm hoping that they'll like it I'm, I'm hoping that they'll you know be you know feel refreshed like i felt you know playing it because it's different you don't get you don't normally get to see a, a black female be a grandma and be cool and be an influencer and be you know help uh, uh, her grandchild who is, you know, going through uh, uh, the bullying thing. And I, I think, I just thought it was a wonderful teachable moment and a, a wonderful piece of work that I could be a part of because I always, you know, with my career, I would always choose roles that my daughter could watch. I would always mm -hmm. say that if my daughter can't watch it, I'm not going to do it. That means it's a little too racy or it's a little too much, or I'm uncomfortable with the role. But for me to be a part of, this marriage with Netflix and WWE, I think it's a, it was a no brainer. You know, I was a little hesitant about playing the grandma thing, but you know, once I read it and, you know, start talking to, you know, Jeff Carris, our, our wonderful director who really had a wonderful vision with this film and was, just guided everybody. 
in a way. He let us do our own thing, but he also was really good at just kind of keeping us on on point, keeping us on focus on what the point of the movie was. And I think uh, it was a great experience. So for me to be able to play a role that's different and crazy and kind of a little bit like myself, I, 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 I definitely enjoyed it. <laughs> now, Seth, those the relationship between the grandson and the grandma is un, it's undefeated. Grandma <laughs> is always going to hold the grandchildren down. If you were if you were in trouble and you needed to call someone to help you out, who you calling first? Mom, grandma, or one of your friends? Great question. Like like in like in like real life? For real, yeah. I'm calling my mom. Uh, you know that better that. be your handsome boy. <laughs> she told me, she told me, she was like, like she told me, like if you ever need help, just call me. I, I don't know where you are. Just call me. <laughs> tell me where you are. We'll ask when she's going to get home. I'm like, okay. So I was like, I'm gonna call you. I'm not gonna tell you in the car ride. <laughs> let's get home. Then let's talk. <laughs> but Seth has a wonderful and beautiful grandma. So. <laughs> oh, I believe that. That's a handsome young man. So I know he come from a line of beautiful, beautiful men and women in his family. Yes. So now have this cultivated, I got to see some of my favorites, Kofi Kingston and The Miz, and got to see some of these guys make appearances. Has this cultivated a new WWE fandom in the two of you? Yes, most yeah. definitely. It go ahead, Seth. Go ahead, baby. Um, yeah, it's, it's starting like a, a kind of like a new realm. Like you've never like kind of like seen, like, like Tashina said, it's refreshing. You've never kind of like seen this before. So this is definitely like taking a new, a new take on like this, like going forward. And I, I hope to see like more movies like this. I think it's really cool because I need, with this kind of movie, just from my own perspective, when you think of the face of a WWE fan, people don't usually think younger black children or super duper WWE fans or, or black women like myself who like to see it. So thank you for your parts in this because a lot of people watching this will now feel seen when they haven't seen those images of themselves as WWE fans. Or not to mention, and, and also the fact that it's a good underdog story too, to see yeah. a young person work their way up and be true and work with some integrity. He had a little help from the mass, but ultimately <laughs> the underlying thing was the integrity and, and the underdog redemption. This, this film brought back a lot of nostalgia for me just watching, because I, 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 you know, I've been asked what my favorite scene was and I just didn't have a favorite scene. What I liked was when I wasn't working, watching the other scenes and watching everybody else play their roles because uh, the, it, the message of this movie is really cool, but it brought back nostalgia for me because I would wake up on Saturday mornings. I'm 50 years old now, but back when I was like seven, eight, nine, that whole age, age time, I um, I used to get up in the morning with my sister on Saturday mornings. We watch wrestling, mm -hmm. kung fu, and Soul Train. Exactly. <laughs> that was the lineup. <laughs> so I think it's a wonderful idea that that Netflix and WWE came up. And, and 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 created the main event. And I'm hoping that there'll be many more main events to come. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I thank you guys so much. Like I said, I really loved it. I do a podcast, a WWE podcast. So this was so oh, nice. Cool. So you are really into it. Like I'm you are super deep. into it. Like nice. I, really, I love it. I love the <laughs> to see the both of you in it. Just to see something different from what people think of as a WWE fan, and you both just did a wonderful job. So thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. We yeah. appreciate you having us, and you be safe. You yes. too. You guys stay inside and wash hands. Yes. Oh, most definitely. You got. You ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> Look how dry my hands are. I wash them like eighty five thousand times. Bro, the hands, the nails, it's a mess. But but we safe. We are safe, and we're gonna get through this. This too will pass. That's yeah. right. Thank you so much, you guys. You Thank got you. it. Thank you. Bye-bye.